What's up, Bitcoin Radio? Guess what? It's your man, Joe Blackburn, coming at you again here at WBTC, where Bitcoin lives. Man, today we got Farb Navy coming on. And look, look, you know me. I like to make things simple. I like to make things as uh, digestible, especially when explaining things. You know, I always try to like remember, like, if I got to explain this to my mom, how am I going to do it? Right. And not just in a bad way, like, you know, how do I explain to mom what Bitcoin is? And you know, we, we, we have this, uh, this, this commonality and, and difficulty in crypto with UI, UX stuff and the, the user interface and really just overall the, the concept of Bitcoin is already hard enough in crypto. This is for the entire space, obviously. Um, it's already hard enough without adding additional layers that are more difficult. Right. And, you know, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, you know, especially as mining goes, I've got, you know, my own, like, like just walls built up. Like I've tried, I've thought about this several times, you know, Dustin Minch, you know, he runs the CCT, uh, mining group for us. And, you know, he's tried to give me some, like some decent explanations about like to, to just break it down for me. It's just not my thing. You know, I mean, it's not like at this point, I do understand at least a minimal amount, but you know, what I love about what coin mine's doing and, and why I wanted them on the show for some time is, is just simply based on the, on how easy they've made it. And if you're not familiar with coin mine, obviously you're going to hear it straight from the mouth of the CEO far, but you know, uh, but before we bring him on, you know, I, I always want to remind people like this is one of those companies that, you know, whether you want to be a miner or whether you want to even buy one of these, these products or not, this, that's not the purpose of, of the introduction here. Like that's not the purpose of why I would want someone like Farbon. I would, I want people to recognize that we've got to support products and companies that are literally doing something better for the space. And I believe personally, you know, just from my experience with them and, and from what I've seen and, and the, the research that I've been able to do, that this is absolutely one of those companies that just deserves, you know, at least your attention, right? Like, you know, support them. You know, if you hear about them, be like, oh man, I heard about CoinMine, you know, uh, I've, I've heard they're doing good things. I mean, I personally believe that anyways, but look, uh, you'll hear that here in a second from Barb. Uh, Obviously, uh, as many of you have seen, we're doing Bit for Bitcoin for Christmas. Patrick gave me the go-ahead to go ahead and start uh, announcing that. But Bitcoin for the number four, Bitcoin for Christmas.com. You know, this is really it's just a website to help you and help your family members buy Bitcoin for Christmas. That's it. There's no attached fees. There's no, there's no nothing to buy. There's no product. Literally, it's just documents and, and, and explanations on what Bitcoin is, how to talk about it with your family. Go check it out. Support the, pay, support the page. You don't owe us anything except your attention. That's it. You know, and you don't even owe me that. I just hope you look at it. Right. So, all right, we'll move on. Let's go ahead and get Farb on here. I don't want to waste his time. He's down here in the lobby. He's here now. So Farb, man, welcome to the show, brother. Yo, thanks for having me. Dude, it's a Bitcoin pleasure, for man. Christmas. I love that. I love that. Thanks, dude. Yeah, we've uh, we we just started this initiative, you know, getting ready for the holiday season with Thanksgiving and then Christmas rolling up and everything else in between. You know, like I mean, how often is it, you know, Farb, that you know you hear the story? I went to Thanksgiving last year. It was a difficult year Thanksgiving, right? But you know, you go home and people are like, "Oh, it's this Bitcoin thing." You know, last year they were saying, "Ha ha, you got Bitcoin." But you know, hopefully right. this year they've been paying attention a little bit more. But even still, a good year. Yes, it has. And we want to make sure that people are, are armed with the educational weapons to explain this space properly. So that's that's the that's the yeah. whole purpose. Nice. Next yeah, year will man. be a maybe even bigger year. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I have no doubts. But hey, more, man, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Let's talk about you for yeah. a second. Farb, introduce yourself, man. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I'm Farb Nivy, CEO and co-founder of CoinMine. Uh, I'm pretty excited to chat about CoinMine and crypto and Bitcoin and all the things. All the crazy things that are coming afterwards, right? So yeah. I, I got to tell a quick story, and I, I briefly alluded to this, and I got to give a big shout out to my boy Parker Smith, a good friend of mine. We went, we went to college together, and you know, it took him years to actually take me seriously about crypto. And a couple months ago, when he's finally like he's in, right? And you know, he, he gives me this this uh, he sends me this message. He's like, "Dude, what you think about Coin Mine?" I'm like, "Huh, I'm, I'm not really. You have to you have to." kind of get me up to date you know he's like dude it's just i just bought one and it's it's a miner i just plug it in i'm like oh okay actually i think i have heard about this so i quickly researched it farb and you know i was like oh man i do know about this and i've heard great things and i knew pomp was involved and a few other you know uh, and we'll get into to that here in a minute and and then uh, parker's like dude i bought one i'm like well dude let me send me some pictures man he goes no no i don't have it yet but guess what while i'm waiting because they're back ordered right now i'm actually getting free satoshis like they're they're mining for me while it's on back order. So it's like, I have it here already. I'm like, that is awesome. And that right there, Barb, I got to tell you, that was like 
what sold me on like i gotta go i gotta talk to these folks and then i reached out to jenny oh. who was so awesome and uh and she connected us together man so uh first off congratulations on the product obviously the success you're back ordered so it's clearly you know a a huge hit right now so how's the journey been man uh it's been a pretty incredible journey i mean we're coming up uh we're about i think a year and a half we've been running coin mine uh, so it's felt like maybe five years uh, jammed into a year and a half. We went from concept to uh, design, engineering. Uh, we're now fully manufactured and assembled in China. So we have, you know, Chinese supply chain and ODMs and fulfillment centers. And, you know, it went from literally, you know, hand making prototypes back in the early days uh, with, you know, $1,500 3D printed cases, you know, there's some wow. coin mines, there's some coin mines behind me here. Um, some of the, some of the originals. Um, that, and like so that big thing right there behind you. Yeah. So, uh, this is the wow. box that it comes in, you know, that's the, that's the Genesis block on the, on the box. Uh, and then here's the, here's, this is one of the two original coin mines that we ever made. Um, wow, dude, what an evolution, bro. Thanks. Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy journey. Cool, um, man. I don't know. I gotta look at my video camera situated here. It's, it's <laughs> that's my bad. It's not, it's hard to <laughs> okay. make that. No, that's cool. Uh, like you said, we're we're we're, we're back ordered. We're uh, you know we're, we're really just trying to make crypto easy for people. And and one one of the ways that um, we're doing that is by mine, for example. So you take this, this you, you plug it in. It turns electricity into crypto. Gives your electricity. Turns it takes your electricity. Turns it into computation. And you you know provide that computation to a crypto network, and they pay you in that crypto. It's a pretty basic relationship. You know, you you give someone something, you get something in return. And and then you know potentially you can uh, hold on to that crypto. Some of them may have some value inside of a network that you could spend them. Some of them you could you know sell for uh, fiat currency. Try and play that game. Uh, but you know, our goal was to make it. You know, our goal wasn't to decide for people what they should do, uh, but make it easier for the ones who do want to power crypto directly um, to get started instead of having to you know spend become experts building computers if you if you aren't already. Absolutely, you know, and there are so many people who you know are interested in, or at least would be interested in the concept of mining just in general. Except you know, it's very complicated, and so you've really just taken away literally all parts except buy this plug it in here and then you can earn this way now let's let's rewind a little bit like how does one even come up with that idea far like yeah. that's kind of like you know too simple to actually work kind of stuff right i mean like you know how what? did you make this right, happen yeah. i the way you said it is actually you know kind of was part of why i was uh, in the very early days i wasn't sure whether this would work but some I'll, I'll tell you the story and you know some things kind of clicked that made me realize that I, that it could uh, so, you know, I've been in crypto for a few years. My co-founder uh, is a great designer. He's designed Pebble Watch 2, Pebble Core, and we were roommates in San Francisco and decided to get into sort of crypto mining together. We wanted to go in on one of those big eight GPU rigs you can buy on eBay, for example, but we're back ordered months. And so, you know, I've been building computers since I was a little kid. Uh, my first startup was basically building computers and selling them uh, in high school. So I decided to build a computer. I figured it'd be pretty easy for me to whip this together. In the end, it took, you know, five days of me tearing my hair out, you know, and this is coming from somebody who knows uh, how to do it. Uh, there you go. Oh, nice. And yeah, and so after after many days of uh, of of uh, struggle, uh, we finally got this little ugly crypto miner up and running. You know, a couple of days later, Justin had the idea, you know, what if uh, what if there was a an a Apple experience around, you know, one of these devices. And at first it didn't quite click for me, uh, but I couldn't get it out of my head. And it finally clicked when I realized that you could essentially control the device with an app. And once I realized that you could control the device with an app, then it became like this beautiful, simple experience that. for me. Uh, because most crypto devices, you know, you have to plug in a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse and, you know, control it like a computer. And, and that to me didn't feel like, you know, the Apple version of a crypto miner. Uh, the Apple version of a crypto miner is like this monolithic device that just sits there. It looks nice, is quiet, uh, is not generate a lot of heat. Um, sure. But you're not going to have a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor connected yep. to it. Uh, right. So then I'm like, okay, we can use the app as the interface. Uh, and, and then it gets really interesting, you know, because now we're the front face for a lot of people's crypto experience. 
And so, uh, you know, we, we built some prototypes and uh, got some uh, folks who are, you know, great investors like uh, Brian Norgard, who was our first check. He, he ran wow. Tinder for many years. That's amazing. Um, Pomp was one of our first checks. Of course. Balaji uh, Srinivasan, uh, who was CTO at Coinbase. Mike Arrington. We just got lucky and got this incredible group of folks together, you know, started on our way. And that was still really early. You know, the, the, these folks came in when it was still a concept. Uh, we didn't have a supply chain. Uh, we didn't have, uh, you know, we, we've built uh, in the past year and a half our own operating system uh, called MineOS that powers every coin mine. Uh, so, you know, we designed the hardware, engineered it, built the supply chain, uh, engineered an entire operating system, two apps, um, wallets, <laughs> withdrawals. Yeah, crazy in about a year and a half. So, you know, we, we've just been heads down going, going, going hard. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. And, you know, you'd said something I actually disagree with, you know, and you said that we got lucky and, you know, as, <laughs> as my dad taught me early on, you know, the harder I work, the luckier I get. Right. And that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's the way it kind of works. And I, like I know, I, I know that that's not his quote. In fact, I think he quotes Jack Nicholas, uh, the golfer, golden bear. Well, when he, when he says it, but, uh, but oh, nevertheless, okay. I, I have no doubts that you guys earned that respect and that opportunity to have not just the audience, but to have that belief in you through, you know, other experiences as, as I know that you guys have been, you're probably working hard your whole life. Now, with all that being said, you know, I, well, let's, let's kind of break it down and, and ask some of the stupid questions first, you know, like you kind of barely, you know, briefed briefly, I guess barely probably isn't the word, but briefly touched on how this actually makes people crypto and yeah, you know sure. and if and if we're if we're honest with the crypto space we we've all been kind of subjected to whether it be the cloud miners or some ico scam that's that has to do with mining you know this is clearly different i love number one that it's a physical piece of equipment like just as a human touch it feel it see it makes all the difference I also love that it's familiar with the app. It's familiar with, you know, being able to interact. And, you know, when you said it makes a lot of sense when you said, you know, how you want to be the Apple of, of this crypto space. I mean, this is a really scalable. I mean, I, my mind is now racing just on the creative side. But, you know, obviously it, it all kind of starts with the stage one. Like, how does this thing actually work? Yeah. Uh, so um, this has a GPU in it and a CPU, uh, obviously, on, on the motherboard. And, sure. you know, the, the, the basics of crypto are, 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 like I said, pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, you provide computation to a network, say Ethereum, for example, you can point your coin mine at Ethereum, Grin, Monero, Zcash. We have Bitcoin mode. Uh, we hope to launch Handshake, which will, I think, launch later this year. Handshake's a super cool. interesting protocol. Uh, and what's cool is on these brand new protocols, um, when they're new, you can sort of mine them the easiest. Sure. So that's one of the things we wanted to give the average person access to is mining brand new protocols that are, you know, exciting and promising, not just every random one. We're pretty picky about the ones we choose and, and letting you essentially get in early where, where you're where a device that, you know, that you wouldn't want to put this device pointed to Bitcoin directly uh, because it wouldn't generate much Bitcoin for you. We developed sure. the thing called, we call Bitcoin mode where it algorithmically mines whatever converts to Bitcoin the best and gives you Bitcoin nice. for it. Love it. So we can, we can give you a lot more Bitcoin that way. Uh, but you know, when it's mining Ethereum, it's actually mining Ethereum. So you're helping to secure the Ethereum network, which is doing cool things like decentralized finance. Um, and you get Ethereum in exchange for it. And we made the wallets. So the wallets are accessible in the app. Uh, if you want, you can move it from our, you know, the wallet that we give you to a different wallet somewhere else. You can just do a withdrawal request through the app. Um, but we wanted to get people started, you know, didn't want to have people go and get their own wallets and bring six different wallets in. Sure. Um, so we get you started there. You literally plug it into the wall. You open the app. Uh, you connect it to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet uh, and you're done. And, and and you're right. There's um, uh, it, you know, if you're if you ordered and and it's sort of past your estimated delivery date, we'll get you started with some sort of satoshis on, on our cloud miner. No, I, I think that's really awesome. I, I just love the idea of like, hey, we're not going to leave you hanging. You know, I know I mean, li life's good, business is good, but we ain't forgot about you, right? I mean, th yeah. there's just there's there's some honesty in in that in that concept. Now, you know, and obviously people who are not miners and people who really just buy crypto because they know how to get on their, their uh, Coinbase app. You know, there's a lot of words that we use pretty regularly, just like you said, computation. I mean, you're essentially 
from what I'm understanding at the moment is you're literally just kind of allowing another uh, or allowing the network to use the power generated through the coin mine machine. And from that, you're rewarded with, you know, what you're doing, you're mining, you're, you're rewarded with Ethereum or whatever it might be. I love the name Handshake, by the way. I'm not familiar with the protocol yet, but I, I'll, I'll be looking at that next. I just think that's a really, I mean, just from the name, I, I can imagine it's some sort of, you know, uh, uh, contract or smart contract or some sort of, you know. I can tell you, it's super cool if you want to hear cool. it. I'm yeah, tell me real quick. So, you know, Handshake is part of what I call the unstoppable web movement that crypto yeah, uh, is I'm allowing. Uh, so uh, there's a DNS system, which is domain name. So when you type in coinmine.com, mm -hmm. there's this whole system that routes that to some weird numbered IP address, right? So that's actually a centralized thing that some people control. Uh, Handshake wants to make a decentralized version of that to run alongside it. So nobody can say, oh, sorry, coinmine.com doesn't get to exist on mm, the internet. So it's part it. of the unstoppable web. And what's cool is, uh, you know, they they use proof of work mining uh, like Bitcoin does. Um, and when they launch, you know, we're hoping to have it on your coin mine. And, and that's when you can earn the most handshake because the network is new. Uh, we launched Grin the day it launched in January. Uh, for me, I think Grin is the closest thing to Bitcoin since bit since Bitcoin. Uh, sure. So I'm re I'm really bullish on Grin. You know, it's it's worth a couple dollars right now. I think it it could be worth a couple hundred dollars in the future, uh, which means my coin mine will probably make me five to ten thousand dollars of Grin, um, if that ends up being true. Absolutely. Uh, yep. And you know, it's about the easiest way for me to speculate on these brand new cryptos. Well, and, and you just made a really good point, and it's something that you know you may or may not say on a regular basis, but I'm sure you believe this. You know, uh, as miners go, and I know a lot of miners, and I've been really fortunate to have a lot of friends, and so therefore I haven't had to learn as much about mining because I can just call my friends, right? Yeah. Uh, but you know, with that being said, I also know that they recognize not just the risk involved; it's just like anything else in crypto. You know, the cryptocurrencies and in, in the in the in the in in this in this space has to continue to improve and go up, not just in value, but in in, in use case, right? For this to be sustainable. And so yeah. we're all betting that this is going to work. We're all yeah. in some capacity, whether you're just plug and play mining, you know, with the coin miner, I mean, you're still spending money with electricity, you know, yeah. I mean, be, albeit much less electricity probably than the average, you know, miner. And you're obviously not going to make as much as a person with a, a mining farm, you know, and that's common right. sense, but you know, yeah. you're still betting and you're still risking, you're not just buying the device, but then, you know, using electricity for it, you know, that this is all going to, continue to go up and that the value is going to increase. So while you're yeah. collecting, kind of doing what you would do anyways, probably for stacking the same price cost to leave your Xbox on, right? Yeah, you're stacking sats. Exactly. And yeah, exactly. It's a little bit less energy than an Xbox. That so. a boy. Keep going. It's just it's just over two light bulbs is the way nice. I it's, it's it's like two seventy watt light bulbs. Yeah, dude, no, I, I love it. Okay. So uh let's let me ask you this. You know, um Clearly, this is a successful business model, and you guys have done really well. And I, number one, congratulate you. Number two, I'm proud of the space having something like this. Right. So I thank you as well. But you know, to me, this idea is super, super scalable. But more importantly, it also is a a bridge of entry. Like even if you never owned a Bitcoin, you could hear about this and all of a sudden be interested. Oh, I can I can actually earn some cryptocurrency. I don't even have to go buy it. I just got to get this machine. How has that been? How has that reception been? Are you seeing more and more people who have not ever been in the space, like even maybe not even own a Bitcoin? Like, what's what's the dynamic there? You know, I think your your buddy is a great example. Uh, who it sounds like you described him as not a particularly hardcore crypto person, correct? Uh, yep. But got a coin mine because probably probably felt like a safe and understandable way to get into it. Um, you know, and 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 you said it earlier. You know, crypto is early. And e even though it's early as a market, uh, every protocol that comes out, it's early too. So Absolutely. it's like an, an early product in an early market. Uh, and if you're talking from a financial perspective, I agree, nobody should be spending money they can't afford to lose on anything in crypto. It, there's, a, there's a bunch of things you can do in crypto. You can speculate sort of uh, for fun. In, in, in Korea, for example, they are sort of obsessed with speculating on altcoins. It's almost like this, you know, tra trading like virtual pets, basically. Crazy. Uh, they're not as big into Bitcoin um, because they're just not as into it for this, you know, the, uh, they're not in it for the hard money. They're not in it for the, you know, uh, for, for all those things. So 
crypto sure. is actually a lot bigger for as small as crypto is it's a lot bigger in ways than people realize and it's super global uh, and different people in different parts of the world use crypto differently so you know you got to just kind of think for yourself and and decide what makes sense for you um and Absolutely. and we've so we found that you know at least half of our customers are basically brand new to crypto that's no, that's, that's amazing. I mean, in fact, you could not have given me better news. I love hearing that, you know, it, it's, we, we struggle so much just with the, and I, and I noted it in, in the, uh, in the intro, man, it's, it's hard. It's hard to understand, especially if you're not a tech person in general. And I always, and I, I remind people this all the time. If you are a tech person, more than likely you've already played or touched crypto in some capacity. Probably, Everybody yeah. from here on out is probably coming yeah. in as Joe Schmo. Yeah. I mean, right. that's a huge audience that we're that we're about to have to accommodate to some extent or the next. Every person stepping in, this has to make sense. We cannot be what we were in 2017. We, if we didn't learn our lessons from 2017, not just on on buying and, and selling, but on infrastructure and what things need to look like and what user experiences need to be, you're a great example of kind of coming out of that. And I'm sure a lot of inspiration for for this model came from you know this is too complicated. I mean, you guys really broke it down. So on the scalable, on the scalable side, you know, is there, or is there a, a bright future? Or is it more than just mining? Is there something, I mean, we're going to see more things happen with, uh, with, uh, with what you guys are doing and you might not be able to I, I tell me. So. Anyways. No, I, I mean, let, let's talk about the industry and then we can talk about how, you know, coin mines is sort of approaching it. So sure. uh, I, I think two of the most exciting protocols in crypto history uh, are grin and handshake. They both happened sure. this year. 10 years after Bitcoin got started, uh, I think you're seeing some of the most exciting stuff. Now, uh, keep in mind that, you know, well, Grin is sort of pointed uh, pretty similarly at Bitcoin about being a sort of uh, handshake is not. Nobody sure. thinks that you're going to buy coffee with your handshake tokens. H handshake uh, and a lot of other cryptos, I mean, this is part of the challenge. People have a difficult time getting their heads wrapped around it because we're like not talking about it, I think, correctly. Um, you have some cryptocurrencies that are trying to become like new types of currencies or like digital gold, for example, like Bitcoin. Yep. Um, and then you have token operated networks like Handshake. And they're not trying to become currency. They're essentially leveraging some of the uh, things that, you know, S Satoshi in Bitcoin was a genie that got out of the bottle. And now that it's out, no one's ever going to be able to put it back in. And mm -hmm. it puts some ideas into the world beyond hard money. Uh, you know, so it's even it's it's like a miraculous and it's an even more miraculous because of the things that it's um, taught yeah, us around agree. decentralization uh, via blockchain and crypto economics. Um, Just the fact so you, that it's possible. I mean, that's a realization. Yeah, for that's people. right. That's right. And and, and so uh, you're seeing a bunch of folks leverage uh, some of these concepts uh, to apply it to areas outside of just currency and money. Um, I, I think we're going to be in a multi coin world forever. Now, you know, Bitcoin dominance, I think, will also continue maybe forever. And I, I think Bitcoin becomes a 10 to 30 trillion dollar asset, at least. Thank you. Um, yep. That puts Bitcoin in the uh, so between the 300,000 and million dollars per Bitcoin mark. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. I think it becomes sort of digital gold and then digital gold, I think, is worth more than regular gold. So. You know, gold is, I think, around a six to eight trillion dollar market cap um, that puts you at about 300K Bitcoin. Uh, and I think it could be two or three times that big. So maybe up to a million dollar Bitcoin. Uh, and I think that, you know, take, you know, five to 20 years. The, the halvening is happening next year, which means um, a lot of people are predicting the price of Bitcoin going up a lot um, on the other side of the halvening. And the halvening is, you know, every 10 minutes, there's a Bitcoin block made and whoever sort of creates that block wins the bitcoin for that block uh and it's going to get cut in half the reward is going to get cut in half next may that's going to constrict the supply of bitcoin being created every day and that coins if, getting sold from the miners yeah and so theoretically that should increase the price of the sure. asset because its supply has decreased and if demand is also increasing uh even if demand stays mm. flat the price should go up uh, if demand is also increasing over this time period, which we all we all think you know is the case, um, that's a you know, multiplier on top of the um, uh, of the supply uh, constriction. So uh, we think you know the future is really bright. Like uh, you've got Bitcoin's got a big bright future. There's the Lightning Network. So each of the coin mines it ships with the full Bitcoin Lightning. 
um, blockchain on there. Uh, we hope to turn on its Lightning network features here soon. Uh, Bitcoin Lightning is a super cool network. Um, when proof of stake starts happening, uh, we may see some. Uh, we may start doing some things there. Uh, if you want to get geeky about it, Monero is about to uh, move away from GPUs uh, to, to CPU mining only. Wow! 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 I did so, not know that. I got to get yeah. in tune with this miner culture. Like this is awesome. And so hopefully, no promises, but we're working on getting it so that your device can potentially dual mine and mine Monero Whoa. on the CPU Whoa. while it's Whoa. mining something else on the GPU. Let's go. So Dude, you're the first place that we've, we've, we've shared that with. Yeah. Hey, well, no, I'm honored uh, and I appreciate that. But I love, I, man, I just, I, I really, I really can feel y'all that like you're the company's excitement like coin mine's got this energy around it and I, you should be very proud of this too because you. you know as i uh, as i became aware well i mean again i heard of what you guys were doing mainly from pomp's twitter and you know uh, among a few other places you know but i had not really paid attention to it just because it just i'm so busy i mean this there's very few things and it wasn't until like i, I mentioned parker had brought to my attention where i was like wow and I love that somebody knew, as you alluded to a second ago, you know, somebody knew caught that got caught his eye and he went into it. Now, typically what we've seen in the crypto space, as, as I, as I even said earlier, is that, you know, this would almost be a gimmick in nature type of sale, right? We would see a cloud mining service or we'd see something. It's, it's right. a physical product. You guys have been, you know, you've been doing this long enough. Now you've got credible, credible investors. You've got people who are putting their names on it, like pomp, who's got a lot to lose, you know, it's not, you don't have, you're not striving to, to find credibility. You, you were built with credibility, which I think is such a completely different style of what crypto has been, you know, known to be. And so it makes it very easy for me to be excited about what you guys do now. I mean, let, let's not be on, I mean, let's be honest here. Let's not pretend like everything's so, so easy. I mean, how long is this? I mean, am I actually going to make any money? Like, I mean, how long am I going to have to wait? Like, what is the, uh, the risk here? Yeah, that, that, that's a good question. So part of the thing we wanted to make, it, there's two things I we wanted to accomplish. I shouldn't say money, crypto. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's a, it, there's two fiat. things we wanted to accomplish here, uh, dirty fiat. The, uh, <laughs> there's, there's a couple things we wanted to accomplish here. One, make it easy for people who already were have decided they want to do it. Uh, we're not as interested in like convincing someone who thinks crypto is horrible sure. that, it's, that it's great and they have yep. to spend their money on a coin mine. Uh, what we thought was there are maybe millions of people who would be doing this, but they don't have the time because time is money. Uh, and I, I wrote an article on Hacker Noon call, about how coin mine is the lowest total cost of ownership. Because if you actually take the time that it takes to do this type of stuff into account, um, which, you know, time is money. You could go and drive an Uber and make some money, or you could bash your head against building a computer for an entire weekend. Um, and, and you could probably make enough money, you know, driving Uber in a couple of weekends to buy yourself a coin mine, uh, but you still wouldn't have built a, a miner in that time. Some people can, some people can, but don't want to. So we wanted to service that market because we figured that would bring a lot more, you know, uh, success to crypto. Uh, and a lot of people just want it. So we wanted to, you know, we wanted it for ourselves. We wanted it to be easy. Um, and so we built what we wanted. And so... Uh, it's impossible to say when anything will, you know, make you rich or return itself. Uh, you're making crypto the day, the moment you plug it in. So uh, if you think about it from that perspective, it's 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 earning you crypto immediately. Uh, you don't have to wait for that. If you want, you can transfer it out and sell it to somebody uh, on an exchange, uh, or you can uh, or you can ho ho hodl it, right? And um, I'm a hodler, whether so, it's Bitcoin, yep. yeah, whether it's Bitcoin or Grin, uh, the purpose of the, the coin mine is to make it easy for people to uh, participate uh, and to take away that time that they spent on you know, uh, building and maintaining a device on their own. So we feel like we, we achieved that goal. Um, you know, we're, we're super happy about that. The economics, you know, everyone has to bring, I, I put it this way, you have to bring the financial analysis and electricity yourself. We'll make it easy. Uh, you provide the financial analysis. And I understand your, uh, your, your, your safety, uh, words there too. You know, I mean, like we're, we're all in a situation including myself, you know, where, you know, we're not financial advisors. You have a product, this is what it does. And you've got to be very careful on, on promising or over promising because, you know, you, you, you want to sustain a, a certain type of, uh, integrity and, you know, pretending like, you know, you know, the answers would be, would be foolish and you've either learned your lessons already, or you were smart enough to never have to learn them. And, uh, and I, and I can obviously appreciate that to, to a large extent. Now, you know, I, I think about every product in the space as 
is this is this actually building is this is this bridging the gap is this making something and you fit every bill uh when it comes to you know actually providing a service and a product that that does these things what do you think you know is uh is is holding people back you know i mean what what are some of the what's some of the feedback you've gotten from like oh yeah i like it i mean what, what is this usually just like people are just lazy or maybe don't have the money or you know what what usually is there is the reason for not getting one I think people aren't, you know, sure about crypto, and and, and uh, you know, it's still very early in crypto. Sure. One of the things we tried hard to do was to get the price down to, uh, you know, an entry price that you know more people yep. could afford. It's still seven hundred dollars. Uh, you know, I, I don't recommend you spend your last seven hundred dollars on Absolutely. anything in crypto uh, and anything in crypto. Uh, so or anything uh, outside spend, of crypto. I mean, or anything you know. besides food if it's literally your last seven hundred dollars. Exactly. So, uh, you know. Our goal was to make it um, affordable and accessible price point. Um, and, and I think, well, the way I look at it is crypto is, you know, uh, going to follow some network laws. Uh, and so at some point it's going to hit sure. an inflection point uh, and sort of become exponential. I, I think we're just before that curve. Um, so I, I think you're going to see a ton more people come on board. Uh, and, you know, anyone's main objection is I think they're still not sure about crypto. They just don't want to speculate or, you know. Um, Sure. No, no, I completely agree. And, you know, and for the record, anybody who's listening, who is interested, you know, uh, um, and, and Farb, I'll let you kind of plug yourself here in a little bit uh, in, uh, shortly, but I, I do also encourage you to actually go to coinmy.com and go look at their FAQs. They're free, they're frequently asked questions. And I, I think you guys did a really great job Farb, in, in, in oh, actually thanks. explaining, you know, step-by-step step, essentially all of these questions. And, you know, of course, I'm sure it's at times, even for someone me, like myself asking you certain things, you're probably like, oh my gosh, you know, so thank you for, for being That's patient. Okay. That's what we're here for. No, but, but I also woke up to an email today and I got a, I saw that you guys are now also, um, and this was really exciting because I'm, I'm really interested in, in actually obtaining one. Oh, really? The only reason why I haven't bought one yet far is because I knew there was a waiting time and I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. well, when, when there's another That's about to end. Gonna... That's about I, to look, end. I know. Starting I won't have an December, excuse anymore. We'll be, uh, We'll we'll be out of back orders. That's what's uh, up, man. So we're pretty I love excited. It. I might as well just go ahead and order, you know. But uh, but regardless, you know, I, I think that you, between what you guys have have built, the questions that you have that you've already answered on your FAQs, you know, there's a lot of really just just really interesting stuff for anybody in crypto. Just, I would go check out their website, everybody, you know, and or far like we'll wind this down, but of course I already warned you that there's going to be a little bit of fun, a little bit oh, of no, I'm, crypto I'm fun good. coming yeah. up, but, uh, but tell me, uh, you know, where can, where can people find you? Like, what is the, what is the way if they needed to contact you or they wanted to get a coin mine and you know, what, what, what should, where should they go look? So on Twitter, uh, I'm at Farbood, F A R B O O D. My full, my full first name, Farbood. Uh, we're also at coin mine on Twitter. Those are, cool. those are two great ways to reach out to us. Uh, you can also just come to our website, coinmine.com um, and hit the chat button in the corner. Uh, we, we, we respond usually in a few minutes. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer, uh, but we have but really pride our, ourselves on great customer support. Uh, so we, we can answer questions that way as well. Um, we're there if anything goes, you know, your device has a one year warranty. You can purchase an extended warranty that adds like two years on it. Uh, which if anything happens, it'll literally get replaced immediately. Um, so, uh, you know, all, all those things are kind of right there. Just coinmind.com is the easiest, easiest way to get a hold of us. All right, Farb, I got a question for you. This is, um, yep. uh, this is on top of though, right. but like, oh, okay. you know, it's, you know, what kind of excites me? Like I want like 50, I want 50 of these coin mines and I want to like, we get have people a buying a lot farm. of them at once. So is this something I was going to ask if, is this a popular thing? I mean, are people buying this and replacing, you know, the Jeep? Cause this is a lot more, this is less maintenance and you can have the warranty too. Right. So this actually seems right. like you may be giving up some power, but it might be worth it when it comes down to it. I, I think that uh, there are people who buy them by the dozens. Um, and uh, I, I, my guess is, and we've talked to a few of these folks, uh, uh, a lot of times it's people with solar. Sure. Um, yeah. It makes sense. And it, if you have solar, you almost certainly have excess solar during the day. Yep. Um, and uh, so you can essentially point, and sometimes you can sell some of that solar back into the network, but mm -hmm. you're often capped on how much you can sell. Uh, and so you basically just have excess energy. Um, and or you may be someone who's not paying, you know, your energy prices are very low or they're included in something else that you're, you know, paying for. Um, so I think those folks, you know, they, they're like, okay, I got the electricity side covered. 
let me let me take this excess solar that I'm making and turn it into uh, you know crypto. I like it. I like it. No, I, I, and I like how you answer your questions too. You know, you're very safe. I, I can appreciate it. But yeah, right. no, I, I just I was thinking, you know, just a room full of like just like awesome coin mines. You know, it's just it's just gonna. It's you got one here. Concept. Look, if you guys ever just need to store some coin mines, I've got yeah. some extra room. Just yeah. so you know, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys are you good. You cover you know? the electricity. We'll split the crypto with you. I, I got you, bro. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I got plenty of room, right? Yeah, no, I, yeah. uh, anyways, obviously. Okay. Well, for, first off, man, I, this has been a really, I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed the conversation Likewise. and, you know, we're about to, we're about to, to see who you really are. Right. All and, right. Uh, and you obviously for, for those who listen fire. already, they know what's going on. It's yeah. Quick fire, quick fire. And so, mm -hmm. you know, I was, I was, uh, you know, I mean, I have tons of respect for uh, for Pomp, but I was informed prior to, as far as let me know, and obviously Pomp's a, a part of uh, the Quinn Mine and, and uh, team in, in some capacity. And um, but he also asked an alien question. Now, I'm really mad about that because I was like, oh, this dude's copying me. But no, 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 he's been around a little bit longer than me as far as that goes. But I'm still gonna ask my question. You can tell me if it's a little bit different. I, and I like to, I like to, um, I like to shift it up a little bit. So you'll we'll see as we get as we go a little bit deeper. But first question is this: All right, humans scientifically speaking are theorized to have been around for you know 200 400 thousand years in between there right i mean whether you agree or disagree irrelevant to the actual question but um okay. i guess it's it's semi-relevant but you know dinosaurs 60 million years ago whatever it might be right uh but in this time period that humans have existed do you believe that aliens have ever visited planet earth uh, that's a great question. That isn't, that isn't quite how Pomp asks it. Uh, so you. this is, this is a different question Chill. in the time period that humans have existed. Have aliens visited earth? Mm -hmm. My, my guess is not to be honest. No. I, I, I'm extremely <laughs> bull. I'm so sorry. There's no wrong answers. You don't even have to answer. I don't questions. mean to diminish any aliens who may have come here and I've just sort of, you know, tossed their existence out the door. You know, I think aliens exist for sure. I think that the, sure. the math of the math of moving around through space uh, at distances of light years uh, and happening to uh, some some alien you know species exists at the same time you know or early enough to before us that when they finally get to some planet where we don't exist they happen to have been here. I just, uh, it, it seems like low probability, uh, but I sure. but I'm but I'm like I'm like ninety nine point nine percent sure there's life elsewhere in the universe. Yeah. You know, you know, actually I made a post on Facebook. I was, I was kind of pondering, you know, existence, right. A while back. And, uh, this was just like last week. I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit embellishing maybe about my thought process, but you know, <laughs> I was, I was sitting there, uh, far away and I was, and I was, and I ended up making this a Facebook post almost immediately afterwards. But, you know, I, 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 I was thinking about how, you know, the sun, obviously that's a lot of energy, right? I mean, the sun yeah. is just literally just right, right next to us. You know, I mean, eight, eight light year, eight minutes in light year speed, six minutes from in light year speed away from us. I mean, this might as well be our next door neighbor, you know, essentially and a really hot, deadly, don't get too close and you better have an atmosphere neighbor, but, but nevertheless it's there and it's producing tons and tons and tons of energy, energy that we can't even comprehend. I mean, we only see like this much of a ocean full of energy when it comes to sun. And then right. I started, my mind started wandering to, there are billions, if not trillions of these huge energy spots in the in the galaxy in the in the universe and in, in all of where we can see there are so many more stars and there are so few earths right i mean we only know of one true earth that sustains life that actually needs the energy that's coming from you know from the planet or from the sun that actually gives existence a meaning a reason and so when you think about it there's actually more energy way more energy than is ever going to be needed in this entire galaxy, entire entire universe. Now, maybe, just maybe. Obviously, this is far out there. Aliens of some sort, some higher being, right. you know, whether you call it God, whether you call it, you know, this really fast alien spaceship, needs a place to refuel their energy. And so maybe these stars are just like gas stations oh, around the wow. universe. Who knows? I love right? that idea. That's some I mean, straight up Hitchhiker's Guide style. Yeah. Uh, now, I as, like it. That's a good as idea. I know it, that is a unique opinion. It's a, it's a, it's an original. I'm yeah. sure maybe I, I watched it on some Just video. Claim was, it. You know, people can deal I'm, with I'm going to. If, yeah. if you can, if you can come point it out where I, I wasn't me, then I'm fine. You know, like I'll, Sweet I'll retract. It. it was mine, but I might, I might, I'm not a huge Twitter guy. I, I spend too much time on yeah, Facebook. I'm a long winded son of a gun. Right. So I need, I need Facebook. So <laughs> I can write my whole story out. All right. So moving on <laughs> yeah. next question, favorite movie all time. You can choose two if you need to. Uh, Glenn Gary, I know this Glenn is a hard Ross. one. Why what not? is it? 
Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. I'm not familiar with this. Is this something I need to it, see? It's definitely something you need to see, especially if you're sort of in like the, if you like movies like Wolf of Wall Street or The Big Short. Um, it's, you know, Al Pacino. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kevin Spacey. Keep going. Uh, uh, Jack Lemon, Ed uh, Harris. Uh, it's a complete all star cast of, you know, it, it's basically like the, the ultimate sales movie. Love it. They're a bunch of, they're a bunch of like uh, sales, sales dudes. Uh, it, it's, it's a based off of mammoth play. Um, so yeah, that, that I had to, you know, Hey, I can dig it, dude. No, I'll, I'll definitely be checking this out. And I do love movies like that. I'm actually really embarrassed that I, I probably should at least know what the movie is, but you know, I'll, you'll love well, it. Next That's time we talk, well, this conversation will be a little bit different, obviously. Sounds so, good. all right, next, next, uh, next question. Bitcoin as a political party and it's that generic. Yes or no? Bitcoin as a political party. Yes. Nice. And care to expand. I mean, I, I'm going to use a loose uh, definition of political party, you know, sure. a, 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 an affiliation uh, that, you know, has to do with people's view on how society should be structured. Uh, you know, I think that's a loose definition of a political party. So I know you're being, you know, you're trying to like be on the edge of the question, you know, and, 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 and get some reaction. So, you know, is it, is it like a, an actual political party? I, I don't think of it that way so much, but do I feel like it fits some of the check boxes of how you define what political parties are? Uh, yeah, I think, it, you know, it does. It, it has yeah, a lot to do with society, how to structure society, uh, the role of the individual in society, the role of society in the individual, and how we should organize and orchestrate all this. So I think that's what a lot of political parties are trying to deal with. No doubt. And I, I think it's a great answer, by the way. And I leave it very open and generic that way because I, I like to I do. I like to hear how people view that answer. Right. And you get very distinct answers from that. I mean, a lot of people say no. Right. Because of the concepts and, and the principles and what they believe Bitcoin stands for. Maybe they just feel pressure that they have to say no to it. But I, I agree with everything you just said. Like there's an ideology behind what Bitcoin stands for. And you don't necessarily need to be running for president to be able to stand for those things, you know, and I think that the principles, you know, that exist within what we are sitting here. I mean, clearly, if you're in this space and you're this deep, you've got to either number one, just see it as a cash cow and you're going to get everything you can. OK, get in, get out, get on your way as fast as you can. But the people who are around who really care, who are really doing things like we tend regardless of a Republican, Democrat, you know, libertarian, anarchist, you know, super progressive communist. There's some principles that we all have found that make sense to us. And it's a great yep. unifier. It's a great unifier. And I don't want to divide by saying you can't be in this party the same way that American right. politics have. So, you know, I go back and forth on whether or not I could run on the Bitcoin political party. I'd do it if, it, if I could, you know, but does it need to exist? That's you. I think you answered it perfectly. All right. Next question. And I already gave you this one. I also gave him the movie everyone, movie one, everybody just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to wait five minutes for someone to think about this again, you know, but, but uh, all right. If you had your own show, Farb, how, or what would be your intro song? It could be any, any song. Like any I, don't song. Any, I don't got any copyright or trademark issues here. Any song. Wow. That's such a tough question. It's a really, really good question. I if I had of, my own I'm show. You, hold on. Let me guess first. Yeah. 50 okay, cent great. in the club. I'm not joking. You look like okay, an idiot. I have a channel. I'll make that. I'll make that. <laughs> I'll make that All right. Well. Now for the official answer. Clearly, I wasn't right because he laughed no, at me. <laughs> it's better than probably my answer. What What would I do? I maybe I would uh, uh something from Kanye. Okay. Cool. Cool. I can deal with that. I mean, yeah. Kanye is a little bit more uh, cerebral than uh 50, but I mean, I, I guess that's. That's, Kanye's that incredibly cerebral, especially musically. The guy's a genius, I think. Yes, yes. There's no, there's no doubt about that. All right, moving on. You know, the last few are, are pretty simple. Uh, but you know, obviously, Farb. Again, I, I want to thank you coming on again, man. It means a lot. Uh, I love being oh, able you. to introduce these types of projects. I think you're doing great work for the space. I think you're a great ambassador and a reason for you know people to to look at and say, hey, th this there is good things happening, right? And that's one of my biggest goals is when I bring people on, it's you know, uh, it, it's it's to highlight and to bring about awareness that there's there are is legitimate production there's real things and not only are you i mean like one of the last episodes i just had i did blockchain valley and i don't know if you've ever heard of them but they're actually building like communities like physical communities and so anything that wow. can make things really physical you know and coin let's mine, go there let's that, get them some absolutely. coin mines <laughs> hey look I, I'm, I'm 
I, I'll introduce you, you know, that's no problem. I'm sure they'd be actually really interested in, in potentially having, you know, some, some coin mines in their, in their developments. But anyways, uh, moving along, the point remains, uh, I, again, far, it means a lot to have you on and I appreciate what you guys are doing, dude. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for having us. Really appreciate it, man. Absolutely. All right. So, all right. I asked you what your, uh, your, your Kanye guy, obviously that would be your intro show. What would the name of the show be, or what would you want your show to be if it couldn't be about crypto? If it couldn't be about crypto, it would probably be about, uh, you know, health and, and, and biohacking and health hacking, which I'm sort of like a big nut about. All right. Fair, fair enough. And obviously you, uh, you're living, I assume you're living in the United States. I think you said you were just in San Francisco. I don't know if you still live there now, uh, yep, but in the US. If, you, if you weren't in the United States and you had to live somewhere that was a little bit more, you know, travel related or touristy, but you couldn't have any money or Bitcoin, where would you go first? I, I had to live somewhere with no money. No money. Wow. So it's like okay, you're just you're just there, question. bro. Yep. Yeah. I mean, maybe uh, maybe go back. Maybe go to Canada. You know, I think if you have no money, they probably do go, go to one of these uh, countries where they take care of people without any money. Right, fair enough. I, I I would I would personally like to stay away. <laughs> I mean, from could the I make cold money? Could I generate some, or I'm not allowed to ever I, have? I, you can do okay, what you want, exactly. man. I mean, okay. I mean, look, it's none of my business. I mean, if I could you, make right? money, I'd go somewhere where I could work and make some money. But if I if money was not allowed to be in my possession, I'll I'll, I'll go to the most socialist place Dude, I can. I don't make the rules. I just ask the questions. You right? You can make your own rules. That's, right? that's a good I, way to yeah. I think people bind themselves, and this obviously is not related to your answer, but it, I think it, yeah. it, it highlights like people, people are so used to binding thing. themselves, like, oh, I, yeah. can't, I'm, I must not be able to do this, right? I, I think right, it's, yeah. I do it too. I mean, you could ask me a question, yeah. I'm going to assume certain no, we are parameters, right? Yeah. I mean, dude, yeah, and, that, and so. you know, if if people aren't able to break through those things, you know, you don't have awesome things like CoinMine. All right. So yeah. uh, we'll leave it at that. Far, I appreciate your answers. I thought you answered perfectly. Uh, there are no wrong answers, so you couldn't not, you know. So they're your opinions. And uh, and you. look, and look, Bitcoin Radio, WBTC. You know, this is where Bitcoin lives. Well, if you live with WBTC, and that is where Bitcoin lives, well, you got to have something at the house like Coin Mine to be able to bring some additional sats in and and stick stick uh, stick some more Bitcoin in your pocket, right? So uh, check them out, everybody. If you got any questions, I'm sure Farb and the and the Coin Mine team would be more than happy to to accommodate any questions that you would have. Farb, any last words, man? Uh, just thanks a lot for having us, Joe. Great to be on WBTC. That's what's up, man. All right, everybody. Uh, till next time, this is Joe Blackburn, Bitcoin Radio, and look. Take care of the cryptoverse. If it's not you, if it's not me, who else is going to do it? It's our responsibility. We'll see you soon.